I guess it evolved. Like when we when we start, I started out home brewing just because like the kind of beers I wanted to drink weren't really available around here at the time. So I started out just to make those, and it sort of evolved into you know whatever sort of beers we were interested, like um, hoppy beers, uh, Belgian styles, into like sour beers, things like that. For me, at least, probably Matt's. Yeah, Matt's I'm, been making sour beers longer than I've been brewing, I think. So yeah, yeah so I I started much the same way when I uh, first got into craft beer. There wasn't even a locally available IPA, so I started off. The very first beer I I ever made was a, a Northern Brewer Tongue Splitter IPA kit. Um, kind of evolved from there. Uh, eventually, I tended to lean more towards saisons and sours, and I rolled with that for a long time. Um, and then, right up until this, I was just brewing uh, mostly saisons and session style beers to have as my like daily drinking beer, and I was drinking almost 100% of the beer I was making at home. You know, we met maybe six years ago, something like that. We've just been trading home brews, you know, back and forth. And then I know I wanted to do something. Kind of Matt heard about that, and he's like, you know, I'm 100% on board. Yep. So uh, that's kind of how it started. Started what, like December 2014? Yep. Probably kind of got the ball rolling. So got the equipment ordered, and then started looking for space, and then doing all the hundreds and hundreds of steps you need to get one of these off the ground. So. Like we got into this space uh, in July and then the equipment was already, like it was here basically the day we got in. So we got that in right away and just started working on uh, creating, like turning the space into a place that we could actually brew beer. So it's, ju it's just the two of us. So pretty much everything that we could do, we did ourselves. My dad helped out a lot, but it's basically it was like the three of us in here like every weekend just yeah. building things. You know, there's certain things like we couldn't do the plumbing ourselves. You had to get a licensed plumber or the electrical, but everything else we did ourselves. The other thing with Grand River being the only other brewery here and being down in Galt, there was something like a centrally located brewery is something that I think really made sense to do in Cambridge. Um, that's something we've been hearing from a lot of our customers is that it's nice that people from Pestler can come in here quite easily. We're right, right beside downtown Preston basically, so it's been nice to add that kind of centrally located brewery to the city. Having the one-to-one -one cost, like, I mean, there hasn't been a single person who's purchased our beer that we haven't served ourselves. So having that one-to-one -one customer interaction is, is really, really cool. And it's something that you don't necessarily get. Like, a lot of these smaller breweries, you're walking in and you're, you have, even if they have employees, you're, you're not necessarily talking to the brewer, you're not talking to the owner on the front line. And here, it's just the two of us. So you're, every time you come in here, you see one of us, if not both of us, serving you beer, so. There's definitely a few styles that we do and we wanna do. We want to do a lot of barrel-aged things, sort of wild, sours. Um, we kind of have one on the go right now, but uh, I think something like that yep. is definitely sort of what we, we've kind of been known for as home brewers, so we want to be able to do that as a brewery, but as of right now, we're kind of just taking it one step at a time. Yep. We also, I mean, we both love pale ales and IPAs, so uh, every day that we've been open, we've had a pale ale available. Uh, we have our first IPA available right now, and we are, have another one coming up probably on our next brew day. And our, our take on those is a bit different than a lot of people in the area are doing, so it's definitely uh, when people come here, they see something a little bit different than maybe they're used to in around the area, so. This is our IPA, well, our first IPA that we've done. I think it was our, what, third batch of yep. beer that we made? The one that I think really we start, we finally dialed in the new system. Like the first two are good, but there's a few things where I'm like, oh, we need to tweak this, we need to tweak this. And um, this is the first one that I think kind of matches what we are doing on a homebrew scale. And uh, it's all New Zealand hops. We used uh, mostly uh, New Zealand Nelson Sauvin, which is probably our favorite hop. Absolutely, so, it's my favorite hop for sure. Yeah, they're tough to get. We had to buy two other New Zealand hops to get to be able to buy them. But, uh, and we put a lot in it. And yep. it's been probably the beer that's been the most popular so far. Everybody comes in, wants it, and it's almost gone now. It's uh, very juicy, very soft. Uh, kind of our style is lower bitterness. Yep. Just big citrusy juiciness. And I think we really nailed it with this one. Um, one thing that we definitely had in our original business plan that we haven't fully realized yet is we want to have a tasting room uh, in the front of the space. Um, so we will have tables in here, we'll be uh, licensed by the glass, so you'll be able to come in and, and enjoy a beer while you're in the space. So that'll um, be very that, soon. That'll be sooner than later. Um, 
I think in five years, I'd like to have a fairly extensive barrel program. Definitely a lot of sours going on and always in different stages. Um, other than that, like I'd love to grow and have a production facility. We're doing different stuff all the time. We're not, do we don't have brands really. We just kind of make whatever we feel like. Yep. And that's really, that really speaks to how we started as home brewers is that you, you brew something different almost every time or you're tweaking a process or you're tweaking a recipe. So we, as we mentioned before, we're like there's definitely styles that we like and there's definitely styles that are gonna be available all the time. But in terms of specific beers, it's gonna be different, always changing. Um, we're so, still home brewing really. Yeah. That's kind of the same approach we're taking. We're just making a bit bigger batches than we did before, so. Yeah.